Hey, if you've ever tried to use one of these things and it just confused the heck out of you, well, I'm here to help. In just a few moments, I'll show you how to become a ninja master of the ratchet strap. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, thanks for visiting our video here, and you are visiting us because you probably have some difficulty with this little device, this little system. And in this case, I've got a little cargo container that's going to be right in the back of the pickup truck, but it could be another load also, like, for instance, the tailgate's up, and I've got 2 by 4s or a piece of sheet goods, a piece of plywood or OSB, something like that, and I need to secure it conveniently and well in the back of the truck and that's just half of it it also needs to be convenient when it comes time to unload the item and so you want these to come apart very easily and this is where this system really excels unfortunately sometimes this is intimidating to people well stick with me just for a moment here and I'll give you some insights on how to use this the best thing to do is to understand what this little part of it's doing if you understand some of the little parts in this from now on, you'll never be confused again. First thing to look at here is the handle on this strap. You're going to attach this to the load attachment part on your pickup truck or your uh, tractor trailer or your uh, trailer. But this side is where the passive side attaches to. And there's a couple features you got to understand. First of all, this is the handle. This is the handle you're going to grip to be able to tighten the strap that goes to it. Hence, it makes sense that you would never put this upside down in the load or backwards down under here. You would always place it hooked on and the handle up. And if you can do that first step, you're halfway home right now and using this every time. So you're going to attach this on the side with the handle up. Now notice what happens when you grab the handle and you rotate it. Do you notice this section inside there rotating? Every time I go, it turns, but notice it only turns in one direction. When I back up, it stays in position, then advances forward. And this is what gives the power of the ratchet strap to tighten up the strap for you. Now what makes this happen is the ratchet area. You see these teeth and this little device that moves in and out? Notice that every time I go, you'll see those teeth go past and under that, and then it catches in. Past and under. It does not allow it to turn backwards only forwards. So that's what gives you the power. Every time you go forward like that, it's catching and releasing or bypassing every time I go forward. Now, to make this work, notice that this column or this rod through here is slotted and you can see that right there. So that is where your strap is going to go. Now notice that this is the up direction, right? I am put it on there. This is going to, I put it onto the side of the vehicle is what I mean to say. And notice that what I need to do is put the strap through that slot and back towards the direction of the attachment. By doing so, after just a few rotations, the tail of the strap will get wrapped up in this and cause it to attach and to tension so that you can really tension down the load. Now, that's one half of it. Once you've attached this and you have ratcheted it forward and got it stowed and locked in, you've taken your load where it needs to go, it's done its job, now comes time to undo it. Well, how do you undo that? Well, here's a couple things. One, there's only two, two steps you need to take. One, you're going to open this up and grab that. Do you see that? And pretty much all systems have a similar type of thing, a release here. Notice this is up. I'm just I'm going to grab here and rotate forward. Notice it's not doing anything now. It's disengaged. The second thing to let this spin loose is I've got to move that back. See that? And that's done right here in the top with that device right there. See it there? And every time I move that back, it clears the teeth. So if I release this and pull that, notice everything spins loose now. And that allows me to undo the strap from the other side here. All right, let's go ahead and put it in use now. Now that you understand the different devices or parts of this working end of the system, let's put it to use. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over here and attach this to the cargo loop in the bed of the truck. 
Notice when I did that, I put the handle up. Again, keep in mind, this is where we're going to ratchet. I don't want it down here and trying to see all those parts. You're going to put it up here where it's most convenient for you. The second thing we're going to do then is take the end of the passive end and put it through this end. Just for clarity, see there's that slot we just talked about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through here. Now, real quick little tip here. This one's free. I'm not going to charge any extra for this. If you were putting this over the top of a tall uh, cargo container, or refrigerator, or that sort of thing, and you put straps up vertical like this or high angle and over the top, they'll tend to buzz and vibrate in the wind really badly. So you'll see this in some of your professional loads that go down the road. Next time, look and see when you see large cargo straps over large loads, many times they're twisted. That wasn't because the guy didn't know what he was doing. He put that in there to reduce this vibration and to dissipate it and to quiet down the load as it goes down the highway. You need to find the end of the passive end. You're gonna simply pass it through the slot right here, pull it through. You're threading a needle and then you're gonna feed it back. And I just crammed it through like that, okay? Now when I do that, I now have that. And notice I can pull all I want this way. Now I pull this forward, I start ratcheting. Now look careful here, zero in in this. Watch what happens as I go around. That traps and pinches that. Now I can put an unbelievable amount of pressure on that and tighten that down. You can see, by listening that we've got all sorts of tension there. I'm gonna let it take out the tension by doing exactly what I said. Pull that up, pull the, back it off, pull. The whole thing just comes apart, all right? And now you are a ratchet strap ninja. You can amaze your friends and family with your finesse of being able to use one of these. And you can drive down the road knowing that load is well secured. If you like the video, please like it or visit our website at dirtfarmerj.com and pass this on to your friends. Until the next time, I'm Dirt Farmer Jay.